Hey everybody, today we're going to be going over the sand table exercise. Um, the sand table exercise is an event that happens once every, after every reset, where you are able to attack a computer um, entity um, five times a day. Um, so to find this, you will go down to the bottom left corner, the three squares and star button. Once you're in your base, you cannot find this once if you're out in the world. You will click on that. And then you'll scroll through to find the sand table exercise button. Um, you can click on go and you'll be inside of the event. How this event works is you will send a march of computer provided troops to attack this sand table exercise boss. Um, so what that means is everybody has an equal level troops. I believe it uses level 60. We can look that up here quick. Um, level 40 troops so everybody gets level 40 troops and then it goes off of your comp your comp your components and your skills um, and all your other stat increasing type things like the um, elements and formations and things I don't think formations apply for this but the elements I believe do um, we can also check that in our report here um, yep so the elements do apply but the formations do not um, you'll see that when you get inside that you can't choose a formation. Uh, so what you want to do with this is you want to maximize your um, damage early on, but you also want to kind of get some stability with it so you're hitting consistently. Um, the big key for this is to try to get the rewards um, at the lower levels. Once you get to be a certain level, um, you kind of max out the rewards, so you get the same rewards no matter how high you hit. So... Uh, my damage of 63.1 billion probably got the same rewards as Pengu's 64.1 billion, who also got the same as Genbu's 397 billion and Shan's 212 billion. Um, it's, I can't tell you the magical number where it, it maxes out, but there is like a number um, where it does actually max out rewards. Um, and your war rewards will vary each time. You could hit the exact same number, but... As you can see here, there's five different rewards. And what you do is you get little chests that open. And once those chests open, you get the RNG of which one of these five items you get. So you can get R and you, you can get R and D plants, you can get tech chests, you can get experience, you can get trading speed ups, and you can get these level 40 gold coin cards. Um, so I'm going to show you kind of two different uh, methods to hitting this. Um, there's one method which will provide you with a more consistent attack power, and that's basically using your normal attack force. And then there's one that will um, allow you to hit the max, um, maximum amount of points you can. But with that, you also will have um, you also will have moments where you don't hit for a lot of damage. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go into your heroes, and um, no matter what I say for this. Um, if you're looking to maximize, you need to have Merida, and you need to have uh, Nimitz or Basil. Um, these two heroes in combination will, once, if they're high enough level, will be your top hitters. Um, you'll see some people, as they start to get stronger, won't use those heroes, but um, early on, Merida and Nimitz will be the top attackers. Um and Basil, if you have him, he's pretty interchangeable with Nimitz for almost everything. Um, so the next thing you'll need to do is you'll want to set up um, to have them with march sizes. So you can have a bigger march. Um, damage increase is very important. And then the other one I would suggest is um, Navy Attack. Um, right now I'm showing you the setup to have more of a consistent one. Um, what I will say is you can put things, if we were to go back in here, you could put things like crit damage on. Um, crit damage and where's the other one? Um, crit, the crit rate. Um, those two things, if you were to add them on there, will allow you to have a higher um, percent attack. But um, I'm just kind of showing you the standard, um, and actually, you know what, I will do that for you guys. I'll throw the high ones on there for this video, and then you can kind of see how it varies greatly with your different powers. So we'll merge these. 
I'll throw a crit damage on. I'll uncork that, and I will throw um, maybe crit on. Oh, sorry, not merge. So he has crit damage and crit merge on, and I will go into Murda. Um, so you want to try to have her um, skill also at its maximum level. And I believe right now mine is at maximum level for her. Um, yep, I'm going to be short. And then same thing with her. You want the damage increase, the Navy attack. Um, if in this case we want to maximize, um, I'm actually going to keep those ones on for her. So that we have, when we do hit for those crits, the amount um, that we're going off of the base is higher. Um, so with her, I have damage increase, Navy attack, and her special. Um, the reason you want to use Navy against the Sand Table boss is because he is technically an army hero, so you get the suppression boost and the troop, um, what was it, what would it be called? The troop, um, advantage attack. So Navy beats army, air beats Navy, um, army beats air, but so you want to use those heroes. Um, so what you would do is you'd hit challenge. Oh, I apologize. I don't want to hit challenge yet. We have to set up our com our components. So components, I can tell you, we've done a lot of testing on this. Um, the best components for, and I'm going to have to uh, unequip these out quick so I can use them. Um, we tested with all equal level components. So don't worry about me having different level ones for what I'm about to show you. Um, there's two different setups, like the same as I was explaining, there's the setup for more consistent. Um, so setup for more consistent is to have fire rate. It is to have weapon buff. It is to have armor HP. It is to have damage increase. And it is to have hit percentage. Um, these are the five best components if you're trying to have a consistently high um, or I should say more consistent and also high attack against the sand table boss. If you're trying to maximize things, what you need to do is you need to switch out um, hit for crit buff. And you need to sub out high fire rate for, um, where is it, crit damage. Um, this would be your trying to maximize the damage you do against the sand table boss. Um, this, but this will also give you highs. Uh, it will give you higher highs and lower lows. So um, the average will not be as good, but you will get higher numbers. Um, so with that, we're going to go in here to sand table exercise, hit challenge, and now we're going to sub out our heroes to the ones we need and fill our marches up with the ships. Um, if you're using army, use army. If you're using air force, use your air force. Um, you can also do that with this. Um, if you are an army main, and I'll show you that shortly after this, you can use your army main um, attack force or your air force, and you'll actually will still do a decent amount of damage and it will be more consistent. But Merida, um, her special skill just um, is very, very overpowered for this event. Uh, we aren't going to sit and watch the whole battle, but you'll see kind of up in this top screen up here, you'll see these little chests. Um, that's where you determine how many rewards you get, and they'll be counted and added up into that little section up there. Um, so you'll see it just keeps counting and counting and counting. Um, I actually haven't ever watched to see how much it'll count up to, but you'll see that the sand table boss does attack back, and that's where her special skill helps because it kind of confuses that boss and it draws um, this battle out longer. Um, we've also experimented with droid where it's actually very, very similar type of thing, but the droid doesn't attack back, so Marita isn't as effective with that. Um, but I'll be putting out a video on droid um, probably later this week. Um, so you can see it'll just keep going. The fight will go on and on. Um, you'll see I did 13.7 billion this time. Um, so, um, I'll let you guys know my Navy isn't the best, so, um, these numbers won't be huge, but you'll see, I'll do it again here, 17.5 billion, and now, 
let's see if we can get her to actually proc. So now 23.9 billion. You see how there's such a big variety? Um, that's all based on the RNG of getting the criticals, um, her special proccing and things like that. If I was to kind of reverse all this, I'm going to go over to, oh, she's good. I need to switch out Nimitz stats or his skills for kind of more reliable things. So we'll put Navy attack on him. And then we will put um, damage increase on him. So now we have a little more reliable things and we have a mark size still. Um, I could put a mark size in Marita, but I'm not going to bother with it just to kind of give you a fair comparison. And then on components, we're going to change out crit damage for the high fire rate and crit buff for the hit. Um, like I said, my components are all different levels, so it kind of doesn't show this very well. But you can trust us that we did a lot of extensive research on what the best components would be. Um, we were using level 3. Um, we were using a hero that procs 100% of the time, um, Billers. And then we were not using any skills or anything. Just that way, it was a level playing field for all the components, and it kind of gave us a base to see what ones were the best. Um, and I've been doing it for about two weeks straight of kind of seeing, going through and seeing which ones were the best. So you'll see now, look at, I did 28.1 million. So you'll see that that kind of means that Merida was not, um, her skill was not um, actually activating much in those first couple battles. But um, and now you'll see this one means her skill probably activated a lot in that battle. Um, so it all kind of depends on how often her skill actually meets but you'll see my highest damage here is actually my um, army um, but if you think about my army my army is two level 120 heroes um, with the skills the best skills for them and all the components set up on them and i still almost caught up to that with navy with two very very weak heroes um, and like i you can see here i have cat yusha and tywin um, up at the top, those are both level 120s with perks that are starting to be um, leveled up. Whereas Merida and Nimitz are both level 60, 3-star and 2-star, and they still almost um, hit as much as Tywin and Ketusha. So it kind of all depends on how you want to play the event. Um, I highly suggest if you're early on, try not to max it. But if you do a Merida and a Nimitz, and you use these comp the components I mentioned earlier, the high fire rate, weapon buff, armor buff, damage increase, and hit, you will probably do a very nice high amount of damage and a very consistent amount of damage. Um, like I said, if you really want to be number one on the leaderboard, um, go for the crits. But being number one on the leaderboard doesn't really do anything for you. Um, if you look around in the event, oh, if it would let me go inside of it, um, there is no rewards for being number one. Um, that's why I don't actually try to level up my navy for this, and I just use my army because I kind of like to see where my army stands. But there is no rewards, so I, there's no point for me to level up my navy at this point. I'm already getting the maximum amount of rewards there are for this event for um, who I, for my level. Um, and you'll all those rewards that I got in this video are all going to be similar the same amount of chests, no matter how much damage they are, because they're all over that threshold of how much you can get. Um, but there is no ranking rewards or anything like that. Um, it's just kind of a um, kind of a talking point, like, hey, Pengu has the highest, Jenbu has second highest, things like that. Um, so with that, um, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you have a great day or night. Um, please remember to like and subscribe, and see ya!